Well, folks, there it is. BMW Motorrad's 2024 R18 Roctane. This is a heavyweight twin cylinder cruiser type motorcycle from BMW Motorrad out of Germany. Now, this R18 Cruiser originally debuted for the 2021 model year. We've test ridden basically all of the vehicles, all of the versions. This is the fifth version of the R18. So we have the R18 base, the R18 Classic, which rolls on 16s, has that nice windshield and the soft bags. We have the R18 Bagger, which is designed for touring. And then we have the R18 Transcontinental, which is kind of like a luxury touring cruiser, but not but not a luxury touring sport bike like the K1600. So that's kind of where the Transcontinental fits in. So this R18 Roctane is the fifth edition. This motorcycle is designed to go up against bikes like the Motor Company's Road King. So you can really see that in the proportions of this bike. It rolls on a 21 inch front and 18 inch rear wheels, which is significantly bigger than the other R18 variations. So this particular model rolls on those oversized wheels. It also has the black chrome finish. So instead of chrome on the headers and other engine parts, everything is chrome, but blacked out, black chrome. Looks really good. I like the shininess of that black chrome. I think it's good. Matte would also be a nice option, but then matte will just have a duller finish. I think it's cool to have the contrast with the slightly matte paint and the gloss of the black chrome. I think that's really cool. Of course, the star of the show with this bike is BMW Motorrad's 1802 CC Boxer Twin. If you can even believe it, BMW Motorrad has been crafting these engines in Germany for over a hundred years. Unbelievable. We'll show you some video of the original Boxer Twin engine from 1923. And it's crazy just how even a hundred years ago, BMW Motorrad had an attention to detail and manufacturing that some manufacturers even to this day can't get right. That is just unbelievable to us. That is the powertrain. Look at that. It looks like a encased capsule of power. No unsightly hoses, no goofy wires, just clean aesthetics. Obviously, the configuration of this engine, it's a horizontal twin. Air oil cooled, there is the oil cooler. No water cooling in this engine. If you can even believe it, the pistons in this motorcycle are four inches big. Isn't that crazy how big of pistons that this twin cylinder bike has? It is unbelievable. Now the six speed transmission is housed in this power capsule and it puts power back to this rear wheel via this really nice looking drive shaft. Look at that drive shaft. It actually spins when it's putting load out to the back tire and it just looks awesome. What a cool styling touch on this motorcycle. We have triple disc hydraulic brakes with beefy four piston calipers. That's a big deal. Does a really good job of slowing down this motorcycle with fixed always on ABS. We have another four piston rear brake caliper. You can't see it, but it's hanging right there on the other side of the bike and the brakes on this motorcycle do a really good job of shedding speed. Of course, metal brake lines, which is good, helps prevent any brake hose flex and just has more durability as this motorcycle ages. We have this long raked out fork. This fork offers 4.7 inches of suspension travel, three and a half inches of suspension travel in the rear. This bike has the lower suspension travel like the R18, R18 Classic do. The Touring R18s actually have a longer, longer suspension travel on those mo motorcycles because they're designed more for touring. Look at the seat, everything on this bike is super premium. The paint is really nice, the fit and finish, but even the bolts, even the bolts on this motorcycle, these aren't like Home Depot bolts that other, not other manufacturers use, but some of the other manufacturers use really cheesy bolts and fasteners, not BMW Motorrad. If there was any slight complaint we would have on this bike, it would be some, some orange feel here on the frame. 
So yeah, the frame welds are really nice for sure, but there is a little bit of orange peel. Actually, it's not even orange peel, it's just a rough, rough casting or rough material right there. That's like our only really com complaint. There's a little bit of orange peel in the paint right there, but that's it. I mean, the paint still is really high end and we're pretty much nitpicking to find something that we don't like aesthetically with this bike. Look at the hard cases. So this bike comes affixed with hard color matched bags that are matched to the paint job of the motorcycle. They can be locked. How, that's how you open them. There is my camera and some of my gear I use when I'm going on these missions. Each, each bag can swallow seven gallons of cargo. So seven gallons of cargo on either side. There's our trusty OGO 450 fanny. This fanny pack goes with us everywhere and anywhere. Here is the key. So this vehicle has a keyless style proximity key fob that needs to be in close proximity to the vehicle for it to start. And it's actually got a cool shape. Look at the shape of the key. The key is the same shape as the engine. How cool is that? That is so sick. I love the attention to detail BMW Motorrad put into this bike. There is the switchblade style key that you use to lock the bags. There's also keyless style locks, but this bike doesn't have that. This particular motorcycle retails for $21,000. If you add other features like the mechanical reverse that this bike doesn't have, the MSRP, MSRP increases quickly, but $21,000 for this motorcycle. We have ABS, we have traction control, we have a tire pressure monitoring system, which shows up here on the dash. This dash is nothing fancy, but it fits the, the, the styling and the just operation of a cruiser motorcycle. Of course, we have heated grips and cruise control, other nice touches. Now, this particular bike weighs in north of 800 pounds, just over 800 pounds for this bike. It's certainly no featherweight, but we'll talk about what it's like to ride because you'd be surprised how agile an 800 plus pound bike can be. Well, folks, that wraps up our official preview of BMW Motorrad's 2024 R18 Roctane. We are going to ride this thing to Barber Motorsports Park and tell you all about it. So let's go for a ride. Well, folks, that wraps up our official preview of the 2024 Roctane. As usual, make sure to surf on over to MotorcyclistsOnline.com. That's where all of our written content comes to life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't, because we'd love to hear from those naysayers out there. And give our channel a subscription if you deem our content worthy for your eyes. Everything we publish is in 4K. It's only the best, so give us a subscription. All right, folks, we'll check in with you later.